Hello humans, Succulent Addict is back here to show you a quick video about one of my fuzzy friends, the Kalanchoa tomentosa. This succulent is also known as chocolate soldier, panda plant, and in rare occasions, pussy ears. It comes from the South African regions, specifically from Madagascar. How cool! A cool fact about this succulent is that it's actually a rosette-shaped succulent, and it's part of the Crossulesia family. Who would have known? It requires full sun because it's considered a hardy succulent. The chocolate soldier, or the Kalanchoa tomentosa's cultivar, is a leaf color variant of the species reportedly collected by Werner Rau in habitat in Madagascar. It blooms red-orange to yellow flowers during the summer-spring period in its natural habitat, but it's not common for it to flower in other parts of the world. For example, I've never had my Kalanchoa tomentosa flower or bloom for me, and according to the San Marcos growers, some people say that if it does bloom for you, you have good fortune. In Madagascar, it is a popular belief that this plant flowering for someone is an indication of richness and prosperity for their household. The name Kalanchoa is somewhat of a mystery. There is some thought that it comes from a phonetic transcription of Chinese words, Kalanchauhai, meaning that which falls and grows, likely in reference to the plantlets that drop from many of the species, but others believe it from the ancient Indian word kalanka, meaning spot or rust, and chaya, meaning glossy, in reference to the reddish glossy leaves of the Indian species, kalanchoe laciniata. When it comes down to fertilizing this plant, it usually needs feeding monthly in spring and summer with a balanced liquid fertilizer diluted by half. In accordance to propagation, teak leaf cuttings in spring or early summer, succulent cuttings root easily in moist, sandy, mixed, or perlite, but I've had some that bloom in normal cactus soil even when it's a wet cutting. The coolest fact about this succulent is that it's poisonous if ingested. Your pets are also in danger if this plant ends up inside their mouths or tummies. This wraps up my video, folks. Stay tuned for more succulent talk videos. Don't forget to rate this video by giving it a thumbs up, and make sure to comment and tell me what you think about this gorgeous little succulent. As always, thank you so much for watching. Peace and happy propagating!